Another feature that we have added to everyone's favorite Maps app is the addition of vector and GeoJSON layers in the Maps app. Now, you have been able to add external layers to the Maps app for quite a long time now, but with this addition, you are able to add much more dynamic uh, and interactive uh, files being uh, vector or GeoJSON. This is important because we know that you're getting a lot of data from other sources. Uh, and there are increasingly number of use cases that are dependent upon maps or, or, uh, or um, uh, positioning or uh, outreach programs. So, for example, some situations where this might be useful. Uh, if you have settlement extents, so say you have a map that represents settlement extents or maybe settlement uh, boundaries that's important for maybe outreach campaigns or door-to-door -door campaigns, uh, maybe that's provided by a third party then you can now import that into DHIS2 and represent those onto a standard DHIS2 map. Um, we also have things like uh, if you have maps that represent spray operation areas, if you're doing indoor residual spraying, or if you're doing outreach sites, um, focal areas for case disease detection, or even just if you're monitoring infrastructure, water wells, something like that. Um, all of that is now could be imported in. So I'm going to go over to the Maps app. All right, and then I'm going to add a layer, and here I'm just going to add Sierra Leone's facility catchment areas. So there you go. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but you can see I can click on one of these and I can get my some additional information about each one of these. These catchment areas, as people often wonder, DHIS2 does not have the ability to capture catchment areas. We, you have to use other sources to capture the catchment areas. But one of those sources is an organization called Crosscut, who we work very, very closely with. They have an application, um, a DHIS2 application, that makes it extremely easy for any country to draw catchment areas for anything they want, not just health facilities. It could be catchment areas for schools, could be catchment areas for uh, infrastructure, boreholes, um, outreach sites, anything like that, Crosscut can help you with. And again, they have an application that very seamlessly pushes it straight into DHIS2. So this is an example of catchment areas just for Sierra Leone.